Yeah, hello, welcome to a new repair odyssey. We have a Galaxy A50, A5, and customer needs the data. It doesn't charge, it doesn't turn on. We have a logo from um, heating problem, and yeah, we are gonna try to fix it, turn it on, and get the data of the device. So let's see what the problem is and proceed with the repair. Okay. Let's see if this is really the device that I think it is. Um, the device is in such a bad condition that the frame comes off, so it's open. A505. Yeah, it's an A50. Okay, then let's get out the screws. First of all, I can show you that we have a warning sign and it doesn't charge and it doesn't turn on. So, charging part is really in bad condition. Yeah, we're charging, of course. That's the end of the game. So, let's get out the screws. Um, Change the camera. Bring everything in focus. Zoom in. This. And start to open the device. Put this aside. Um, first, I'm going to disconnect the battery. And then I'm going to make a quick inspection. Test the battery. If the battery is low, why we get that heating warning? Probably there's some decuit damage on the port, but who knows? Let's turn on the microscope and have a quick look over the board. Hmm. Looks actually quite good. A lot of dirt. Okay, that's disconnected. I haven't disconnected this. Okay, look at that. Hmm, how does this happen? Has this phone been opened before? I don't see. Here you can see someone has. Looks like it was liquid and someone did. Maybe it was me, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. So, the whole problem is this. So, hmm. can we fix that? Well, that is something we definitely need to change. But I have a flex cable here, so I'm just going to replace it. See if I can get this. Maybe we can save this. It's not in that bad condition. Maybe we can bend this to a working state. Let's try that carefully. Be very careful. You slip and you may break that. Here we have a little bit of a push. But I think we may get away with this. Okay, let's have a look if we have a working FPC connector for a Galaxy A50 main connector. 
We should have something. stuff but no FPC. The problem is uh, with this connector it's not only the charging port it is also the... no it's not. Okay that's one of the last who where screen and charging port is separated so we may not get a signal and stuff, no fingerprint. But if we have a charged battery which we surely do not have. Then we may be able to turn it on. See what we got. We got an LS up. Uh, found one. one. Just gotta take the frame off. Something is sticking here. Why do I keep this? Oh, because we have a working, yeah. So this frame is already got rid of the screws. Oops. Working board, but it's not the point of the repair. We want a bad flex cable, which is in a good condition. And put this back again. <clears throat> this is going to be easy, maybe. So now we're gonna carefully connect that no good connector. It made a click, which sounds good, and also here. So let's connect everything back and see. We can charge it or turn it on. I don't care about charging. Charging port is also in a bad condition. It's already charged. Okay. But it wasn't turning on, so charging works. Let's see if we can turn on the device. It looks like an easy job, so it didn't turn on and didn't charge just because a mangled up FPC connector. Um what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn it on. Um, where? I can't remember. Let's try these two pins. Good. Is it working? Does touch work? We want just some data.
privacy filter. Exclusive privacy filter idea brought to you by Paul Daniels, the great Australian repair bushman. Like always, no soldering, no hard work, always too easy. Not always, but we have a face. We have two faces. Um, and touch is working, so that's it. Very short video. Um, if you may run into problems. You have that warning temperature sign, then there may, may be an issue with the charging port or the flex cable or the FPC connector on the main board. So just a little bit of smashed connector can cause the phone not to boot and not to turn on. So very easy fix. Everybody can do that. So you just need a good cable and yeah, we didn't need it. Uh, we, we, it, it also would do if you say, okay, I don't get a cable, I can get me a battery which is charged, put it in, turn it on. You can leave that FPC connector aside so you don't really need it for the device to turn on. Let's test that. So just disconnect everything what you don't need and you're fine.